Good morning, my friends. Hello, it's wonderful to see you again. You remember me, Miss Kendra? Okay, good. So I wanna make sure to remind everybody our schools are open. Call, get registered, email us. We wanna hear from you, we wanna see you. And our remote learning is gonna continue through June. So don't worry, okay? Let's take a look at our calendar. Okay, yesterday was ooh, Wednesday. Good, it means today is what? Thursday, okay, fantastic. And tomorrow, Friday. Yes, tomorrow is Friday. And it's not the 10th anymore. We move to the 11th and the month is June. Good, so it's June, Thursday, the 11th, 2020. Fantastic. Okay, you got your seven fingers out for your seven days of the week song. Good, ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Fantastic. And you guys know how many months are in the year. 12,000? Well, no, just 12. Good, okay. Your fingers are out. There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and, oops, August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Really good, you guys. I'm gonna keep practicing that one, okay? Let's jump over to do some Spanish, okay? And here, while you guys are learning Spanish, Miss Kendra is also learning Spanish with you. And I'm having so much fun because I really like Spanish. Do you guys enjoy your Spanish here? You do? I'm really happy we can enjoy it together. So these directions have two parts, right? Let's put her name up top, Miss Kendra, don't you forget. Do you guys write Miss Kendra on your paper? No, right? You write your own name? Good, okay. So our directions say color the pictures and trace the, and trace the word below each picture. So color the picture. So let's color our first one. And we're going to practice saying these words. So what is this a picture of? This is of a arm, right? And in Spanish, arm is brazo, brazo, right? B-R-A-Z-O, brazo. So we can trace those letters, B-R-A-Z-O, brazo, cool. And what is the picture of the next one? We know those are what? Shoulders. But in Spanish, hombros, hombros, shoulders, right? And what is this? A hand, yeah. And in Spanish, mano, mano. Okay, let's look at the bottom one here. What is that? A leg, right? Pierna, pierna, leg, pierna, pierna. And here is your foot, right? And in Spanish, we pronounce it pie, pie, pie. 
Really good. I'm so happy we're learning this together. You guys, don't forget to color and trace your words. Okay, I'm going to jump over to the next worksheet here because it has so many of those body parts for us. Okay, I'm going to put my name up top. And then let's do this together. Okay, so color the body, cut out the name of the body parts and paste them where they belong. So it's possible that you guys maybe already cut out all your body parts, but maybe not. So let's ask for help if you did not finish those already. And hopefully, we printed this out one-sided because our little Spanish friends on the back of this are not really words anymore. There's so many body parts here, right? So many. But that's because we have a lot of body parts in our body. We need a lot of body parts to make us go around every day, right? To help us move, to help us live. All right. So we have this one here. I'm just going to cut all these so that they are ready. And I think I'm going to color my human body just all one color. Or should I do so many colors? So many? Well, I think for the sake of time, I'm just going to do one color. This is going to be a blue friend. All right. Blue friend. Maybe your friend will be rainbow. I don't know. If you paste first and color after, is that okay? Yeah, probably. So let's see here. We've got so many body parts here. And we get to practice saying them together in Spanish. So let's see here. What would go up top here? What is this? Let's see. Eyes, nose, mouth. <laughs> okay. The head, right? And in Spanish, for the word head, we say... Cabeza. All right, the glue was glued shut. All right, cabeza. Very cool. And what's here? What are these? Your eyes, right? And that is ojos. Ojos. So I'm going to put a little glue here, and I'm going to paste ojos. O-J-O-S. And what's under your eyes? Nariz. The nose. The nose. Nariz. Can you say that with me? Nariz. Cool, right? And mouth is where? Under the nariz, right? We can paste that. Boca. Mouth in Spanish is boca. Boca. And the ears. The ears are called oreja. Yeah. Oreja. Cool. Okay. And do we remember what shoulders are called? Hombro. Or just one would be, yeah, just one is hombro. Two, hombros. Right? Hombro. Okie dokie. And this one is pointing to the whole arm. What is arm? Brazo. Arm. Brazo. Can you say that with me? Brazo. Really great. And this line is pointing to his 
elbow, right? And elbow is kodo. Super. Okay. And when you're dancing and you shake your hips, you're shaking your cadera. Cadera. You guys are saying these words really nicely. Super. Okay, and this line is pointing to his hand, right? Hand is mano. Mano. And what are these? This line is pointing to his fingers, right? So I'm going to put some glue. Dito. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. And this one is pointing to his whole leg. How do we say leg in Spanish? Pierna, right? Pierna. You guys probably know more than me. And this is pointing to his what? Knee, right? Rodilla, rodilla, rodilla. Cool. And this one is pointing to his what? His foot, right? His foot. And we remember what foot is? Pie. 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 Foot is pie. Awesome. Okay, and one more. This is right on the top of his foot, at the bottom of his leg. That's his ankle, right? And in Spanish, we can say tobillo, ankle. Awesome job, you guys. If you finish this now or finish this later, super, 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 super. So now let's jump over and take a look at some math. Are you guys ready to do some addition today? Are we adding today? We are adding today. So let's write our name up top. Miss Kendra. It's still June 11th. Okay, let's see these numbers here. Color the watermelon. Count and add the watermelon seeds. Then write the answer. Okay, so we're ready to color and count watermelons, watermelon seeds. So I'm going to color all of my watermelons first so I can do some beautiful counting and addition. You guys are doing a lot of math. I'm really happy for you. And I think our watermelons will be a pink today. Looks more realistic, right? What color is watermelon? Is it red? Or is it probably pink? It's kind of pinkish, right? So, we need to first look at our watermelons and count the seeds. So let's look at the first one. We're gonna count these seeds. I see two plus, how many seeds are over here? One. So two plus one. Let's count all those seeds and see how many there is when they're all together. One, two, three. Three, let's write the answer here. Three. Two plus one equals three, right? And you could do two plus one anything equals three. Let's look at these toys here. Oop. Right, two, one, two, plus one. What are we gonna do if we're plus, we're we're plus an addition. We're gonna add two, right? 
So two plus one equals, what do we have now? One, two, three, right? Two plus one together is three. Good job. Okay, let's look at the next one. A bigger number here. Six seeds plus two seeds. How much is that together? Oh, I heard some of you say the right answer. That's really good. Okay, let's count them all together for our friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six plus two is eight. Eight. Really great. Okay, let's do the next one. We have three plus three. What is that, my friends? Okay, really good. Let's count. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You were right. Six. Let's do the last one together, okay? Five plus four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four is nine. Yay. Awesome, we finished that one together. If you did not finish yet, did not finish coloring, that's okay, let's finish later. We have some time to practice our writing and drawing. Let's write our names up top. Okay, what do we see here? This is a mat, right? M -a -t mat. That's really nice mat. Do you have mats like that at school? Most of your mats at school have a stripes on them? Yeah, cool. Let's trace our mat here and around our A, down, up top, and across for our T. And let's write that word on the bottom line. I'm going to go slow because I need some practice. A, T, across. Really cool. So let me color this mat. Let's see here. I think I'm liking blue today. Do you guys like blue? What's your favorite color? Green? Mine is, my favorite color is green too, but I'm, I'm just feeling like a blue color today. Sometimes you use different colors, right? Sometimes I feel like a blue color. Sometimes I feel like a yellow color, red color. Right, we can change it. So I'm gonna draw my mat down here. This mat is floating in the air, which is why it can look like this. And do our mats at school, they have, they look like this or they have stripes. So this is my school mat. Right, and sometimes they have a big stripe. And then some more little stripes. Expert level. Good job. Super. And what animal is this? What are those letters? R A T. R A T. Rat. That is a rat, right? Let's color that rat. What color should that rat be? Maybe a gray rat. I don't have a gray pencil, so I use my writing pencil when I want to color gray sometimes. Cool, I'm gonna trace rat. Then we can write it below and I wanna see you guys draw your picture. Okay, R, A, T, rat. Awesome, and you guys don't forget, finish down here, don't forget to Draw your own picture of a rat and a mat. 
Okay, let's jump all the way over to your to your face. Do you guys have a picture here? This picture is missing a lot of important body parts. What is this missing? Eyes? Yeah, and a what? Where's all the hair? Hmm, where's all the hair? Let's draw, let's give our friend here all the things that they need, okay? Let's look at these words up top here. Chin, chin, can you touch your chin at home? Your chin, touch your chin. Does this person already have a chin? Yeah, he's ready to go with the chin. She, whoever you want it to be. Eyes, this person needs eyes. Right, so let's give this person some eyes. On people, are eyes, are our eyes a big circle like this? Not usually. Usually they're like a little shape like this and like an almond-ish. Okay, now this person has eyes. This person needs hair. How should this person's hair be? <laughs> Let's give this person really curly black hair. This is how Miss Kendra is drawing curls. Do you like my curls? Do you think she should have a, a bang? She's really cute. Okay, what's next? She needs some eyebrows. What goes on above her eyes? What are these? Eyebrows. She's gonna be really happy with me. Eyebrows. Okay, and next we cannot forget what's on the edge of your eyes here. What is here? Your what? Your eye lashes, right? Do you have them on the top of your eye? Up here? Yeah. Do you have them on the bottom down here? A little bit. And where's the forehead? Here's her forehead. Do we need to draw it? No, not really. We could give her a wrinkle. <laughs> She's really going to be happy with me. And a nose. A nose is next. Let's give her a cartoon nose. And a mouth. How is she going to eat without a mouth? My poor friend. She's going to be really happy. And she's going to be showing her smile. See those teeth? That's her mouth. And she needs a neck. Do you see her neck? It's right here, huh? Here's her neck. Maybe we can give her a necklace. Because she already has a neck. So cute. And her ears. Where are her ears? Do we need to draw her ears, or does she have ears already? Yeah, but we can give her maybe an earring. She's having a great day. And her cheeks. Where's her cheeks? Up here? No way, Miss Kendra. She can have pink cheeks. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful just like my friends, and she is going somewhere. Okay, so the next we color, draw your face, then trace a line to the corresponding face part. So we have all of these face parts, and we need to connect it with a line to the picture. Okay, let's do that. The first one is chin. We need to draw a line from the word to her chin. This might end up looking a little messy, but that's okay, we're learning. Chin. And eyes, where's the eyes? Draw a line to her eyes. And her hair, right? Really, really good. I'm gonna let my friends 
finish drawing these lines by yourself, I'm so excited for you to share these pictures with your teachers. I think they're going to really, really like them. Okay, and we have one more fun thing to do today, and that involves some coloring, right? What does this look like to you? What is this? Who has that? A what? P police officer, right? And it is called a, what is that called? Every police officer has their badge, right? Or sometimes we can call it a shield, a badge or shield. And where do my friends live? Where do you live? Where is your Niles Campus School? In Fremont, right? We have friends from Danville and all over, but we have this school is in Fremont. I'm in Fremont. I want to show you a Fremont badge. Look at that. If you met a police officer in Fremont, they are all wearing this badge. Every police officer in Fremont is wearing this badge. And this, when you see this, you know, oh, that is a Fremont police officer, right? It says Fremont police. And then it has this little picture. Cool, right? And sometimes also this one goes on their shirts and things, right? And they can also have this. It's called the shield, right? So this is a little bit fancier. This one's made out of metal, right? And it says, Officer, Fremont Police, right? So I was thinking maybe since we're coloring a badge, we can try making a Fremont Police badge. Does that sound cool? Oh good, I'm glad you think so. So I'm going to write Fremont Police on my badge. Fremont Police. Really cool. Okay, and then what else do they have on their badge? They have a, what shape is that? It's kind of like a, like a sun shape, right? It's like a circle with triangles around it. I'm gonna write a circle, I'm gonna, all right. I know you guys are gonna do way better. Miss Kendra is still practicing. And then I kind of see some landforms in there. Do you guys see some landforms in there? I see a mountain and I see a river. Really cool, there might even be like a Mission San Jose right there. Very cool. So I'm gonna draw a mountain back here and a little river over here. And it looks like there's just land here and a Mission San Jose. My friends, have you seen a Mission San Jose? Yeah, we have that in Fremont, right? Really cool. So the most of the badge is blue. Are you, when my friends are coloring, are they coloring all in really nice, not leaving any white space? You are? I'm so happy with that. It looks really, really pretty when you put a lot of your time and go slow and try your best. That's when we get our best work and we feel really good after. So the circle is yellow. Let's get some yellow in there. Awesome. And what color is the sky? Definitely blue, especially on these beautiful days we've been having. And a green grass. And a blue river. Maybe a red roof for the mission and a, oh, 
Purple Mountain, my friends. What color should our star be? How about a big, beautiful yellow star? And now we have an awesome custom police badge. So cool. And mine says Fremont Police. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun. We did a lot of coloring, a lot of writing. Thank you so much. Let's say, don't forget our schools are open. So call, register, I wanna see you soon. We're gonna continue remote learning through June. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good Thursday.